Good morning and happy VE day to you. It's bank holiday Friday today. I've gone for my red, white and blue. Have you noticed that mum? No, I didn't. Oh, well, there we go. Um, I want to have a really big breakfast this morning. My earring. Oh. <laughs> I want to have a big breakfast, but we've got 20 minutes until the silence. And also the Spitfire um, is doing a flyover, but it comes quite near our house. We're not sure if we're going to see it or not. So we're going to go out the front to do our two minute silence anyway. And fingers crossed it will go over. That would be a magical morning. Mum is making a cake today. Exciting. Are you doing it with uh, dairy free butter? Yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought it'd be nice and creamy though. Thank you. So it turns out the flyover isn't at 11. That's a bit later on in the day. So we've got two minutes silence first and then fly over a little bit later. I'm just getting some shoes on. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast is served and somehow I didn't set off the fire alarm so today is going to be a good day. Oh, I've just remembered my dream from last night. Someone took me to a comedy workshop and said oh there might be one or two celebrities there and we walked in late and it was like a room full of celebrities and I saw John Travolta and I went up to him and I was like you are literally my favourite human being in the world and I gave him a massive hug around his big belly and he was seven foot one in real life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Louise has introduced me to a new podcast called Table Manners. I listened to uh, a couple of episodes already, but the newest episode is with Florence Pugh, who Louise, mum and I are recently obsessed with since watching Little Women. We just love everything about her, but they've just released an episode with her. So I'm gonna lay in the garden, I'm gonna sunbathe, and I'm gonna listen to Florence Pugh on Table Manners with Jessie Ware. I can hear it. Oh no. Oh shame. The Spitfire just flew over. We could hear it, but we can't see it. That's a shame. Oh my god, I leapt up my phone's falling. It's a floaty, it's a floaty old number. Oh goodness, I'm a bit sweaty. I just got a delivery. Oy. <laughs> this is from Paper Chase. I definitely don't remember ordering this much stuff. Louise actually ordered it. So, teachers were getting 50% off. And Louise asked if I wanted anything, because she's already a teacher. And I said yes to a couple of things, and then she was like, oh, I've got it sent to your house instead of mine. So, I don't know how much of this is mine, or how much is loose, or why it's so heavy. So, here we go. Oh, ooh, this is so exciting. Okay. First thing is a photo album. This must be for Louise. It's got the world on it. I know that she keeps albums of her and Dan every year, so I guess this is one of those. This one's me, Jewel End Markers, 24. Oh, that box is satisfying. Let's have a look at one. Let's get a nice pink. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Love those. Oh, this is mine too. This is a, just a notebook and it's got like a fabric cover on it, which is cool. I thought that was a really pretty design. Nice thin lines as well. I like a thin lined notebook. Oh, this is me as well. This is a pack of 10 thank you cards. Always good to have a little stash of thank you cards somewhere. I know I make my own cards, but I, when it comes to thank yous, I'd send these ones. Oh, this is me. This is a tote bag. That's quite cute. Um, I particularly liked all these colours, but I thought this would be good for teaching, just to carry like folders or books home to mark. Um, and it opens up at the bottom that way. That is adorable. That's that one. Lovely. And we've got a load of paper. Oh, that was it. I thought they ordered more than that. Oh, well this haul was cut short. I'm thrilled nonetheless. I just thought there would be more. That was a kind of waste of a big box, wasn't it? 
I'm gonna have to go and collapse this. <gasps> no. So my friend Lottie tagged me in this Instagram the other day where someone had a cardboard box and they transformed it into like a castle for their cat. So you know what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the day. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> this is how we are looking. We are creating a nice little palace here. I'm just about to pop Solzy's name on here. Okay, I think I've finished. Um, if you want a tour of the crib, basically, uh, here's the front door. And then this is the living room. <laughs> Sully, Sully, look what mummy's made you. Come here. Let's put it in. <gasps> Whoa! Oh God, you're so fat. Right, we're gonna go and move you in. You got your keys? You're gonna need your keys. Oh goodness, is that your new house? Are you even gonna fit in there? <gasps> what do you think? <gasps> Lucky boy! <laughs> Hi, I'm Sally and welcome to my crib. <sighs> what you got in there? Oh, we're not allowed in. <laughs> have, you, have you worked out that you've got windows? <gasps> oh, that was the cutest. What's this? That actually looks delish. Fruit salad for lunch today. Wee. in the post and it's from a company called Luisa's Vegan Chocolates but I didn't order them. I'm just gonna cut open the box. <gasps> Delivery note. This is such a mystery. Oh. Oh, oh they're from Phoebe. Congratulations Miss Murray on your teacher qualification and new job. Lots of love. Pea brain, <laughs> Phoebe lol. <laughs> oh, vegan truffles. Let's see what they look like. <gasps> I think I've got to try one. I'm gonna go with white chocolate because white chocolate is what I miss the most. What are they made out of them? White cashew nut heart. Cashew nut. Oh, these are delish. Thank you very much, Phoebe. Not gonna let anyone else touch these. Good morning. It's quite a long time later, but I think this vlog's a bit of a mess, which is the reason that I haven't uploaded it in ages, and also the reason that I haven't been vlogging, because I just didn't want to face this one so I thought I'd film this little clip this morning just to finish this one off and then tomorrow we'll go back to vlogging as normal. I thought I would send a few of my friends some things to keep them entertained during lockdown and on Amazon I found this company I think they're called sockcreatures.co.uk and they've got all these different animals that you can make out of socks and they send you the whole kit for them. So I thought of my two craftiest friends who are Phoebe and Gabby and I got three of these um, ordered one for each of them, got them sent straight to their houses and we all got them on the same day and I texted them and I said I thought we could have a competition who could make the best sock monkey. So Phoebe did hers first, hers looks like this, she got some nice pink socks in her kit. Um, I did mine next last night, here he is, I got some stripy socks in mine. I am so obsessed with this, it's so cute. Um, and Gabby is doing hers today I think, if she's done it by the time I upload this I'll put the picture here. Um, Anyway, this is so sweet, but then I thought, well, why would I want a sock monkey? Although mum has since piped up and said she wants one for her car, so I'm gonna make another one. But um, I have got um, a cousin who's got a baby called Milo, and so I thought this would be a perfect little um, toy for Milo. So I'm about to pop him in a uh, in a bag and post him off to them today. That's adorable. I'd really recommend these. I'll leave a link to it below um, if you like, and you can have a look at all the animals. Um, they're just so adorable, and it's such a fun little activity to do during lockdown. This took me about an hour and a half, I think. And it comes with everything you need, including thread, needle, buttons, the socks. The socks are brand new, they came in the box too. Super cute. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching this vlog and 
we will resume normality tomorrow. I hope you're doing well. I hope lockdown is, uh, I hope, well, I hope you're keeping sane and entertaining yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.